Welcome to My Summer Practice Journal, week number nine. For this week, I want to continue working on some of the goals I started with last week. We're just going to bump up the tempos just a little bit. So for double tonguing, I want to get to 126. I am going to continue working on the core number 23. So this is the first week of the summer practice journal that I'll be doing with the same etude over two weeks, but I'm going to try and get it up to 112 BPM. And then since I've been working on Joel Love's Liberation for a few weeks now, I want to try and finally get a full run of it. And then I also want to try and learn the first page of Bolcom Concert Suite. I hope you enjoy this week. Let's get to work. So I decided to start this week off with a bit of an impromptu fairing etude. I think this one's number nine. And then I just set a drone to the tonic, which I think this was in my F. It's always nice coming back to something that you thought was hard a long time ago. And this just felt pretty easy to me. I felt like I was even moving my air really nicely and also starting the vibrato instantly on a lot of the notes, which is something that I've struggled with for a long time, but I feel like I've gotten so much better at it. One of the big things that Calvin Wong taught me this last semester as he was the visiting professor at UT um, was to work on these overtone scales, especially on soprano. It's really helpful for altissimo. I had to do a lot of altissimo in the Manitou incline, and so, Having not played a lot of soprano altissimo before, these overtone scales help me a lot. As always, this isn't perfect, but that's the point in all of this. I thought I would feel a little bit more of a difference when double tonguing on soprano compared to alto, but I really didn't notice a whole lot, so maybe we'll see as the week goes on. I forgot to say, the reason why I'm playing soprano is because this coming year I'm going to be playing soprano in our quartet, and so I just want to get my chops back up on soprano. I did a lot of work this last semester, but up until now, starting week 9, I haven't really touched it at all, so this will be good to get back on the horse and get to work. I'll probably also end up doing all of my etude work on soprano as well. I forgot to mention that I skipped Monday, that was my day off, just because I did a lot of editing that day on the previous My Summer Practice Journal, and I was really tired and didn't really want to practice, so it's kind of annoying having Monday off just because then I have a long string of six days in a row, but next week we might try and shove a day off in the middle. After doing some long tones, I moved on to the chops book. I always like to pick maybe an exercise I haven't done before. So this was a fingers exercise. It was a dexterity work in the right hand starting on low C. Going from soprano to alto in the same session is always nice because alto always feels so much better and so much cleaner after I've played soprano. Just has to do with the voicing and a little bit more of a relaxed embouchure. Here I decided to do a full run of like the first third of Manitou Incline just to prepare for the full run of the whole thing later in the week. And then when I was done with that, I moved on to working on the first half 
of the first page of William Bolcom's Concert Suite. Some of this altissimo stuff is like target practice and it's going to take me a long time to get really consistent with it. But I think I'm enjoying this piece and I think I'm probably going to do it for this year's concerto competition. Cover your ears for this. Here's another just random exercise out of the Chops book just to get my air moving and sort of test out the altissimo. I turn the volume down on this next one just to uh, take care of your ears. And then I went on to another finger exercise out of the Chops book. One thing that I really need to work on is figuring out some different altissimo fingerings for soprano. Right now I'm just using a lot of the same ones I do on alto. And they work pretty well, but I'm sure they could work a lot better if I found designated fingerings just for soprano. Today was a big tempo day for me. I wanted to push the tempo up on the LaCroix tube number 23, just so that I'm more prepared for the end of the week. The other thing that I want to make sure and do is work without the metronome, just because at the end of the week, I don't want to have to use a metronome for like the full run. Um, and so getting comfortable without the metronome is really key towards the beginning of the week. To start today off, I kind of made up my own little long tone exercise. I have a lot of problems with low B, especially big intervals, so I started with C to B and worked on that interval and then just went up a half step from C every time, just working on my flexibility from any note to low B. I then worked through all of the major scales in thirds. As you can hear, I really struggled today, especially with this etude. Um, it really kicked my butt, but hopefully tomorrow and the next day, I can make it a lot better. It's really hard not to give up on these days, especially because I wasn't sure if I was gonna get to that 112 tempo that I wanted to. I know I'd been working on this etude for two weeks, but that tempo is still a real big reach for me, and we'll see if I can get there by Sunday. And then this is me finishing off the first page of William Bolcom's Concert Suite.
Today I opted for some silent practice just because when I was home and able to practice someone was asleep in my house and I just didn't want to wake them up and play a bunch of loud noise so um, silent practice is still good practice so at least I got the horn out and I worked through some etude stuff and then I think some Bulkum concert suite. Today I started off with a vibrato exercise for my long tones. I would start with straight tone and then with the triplets and then sixteenths and then quintuplets. My double tonguing this week was not very consistent, but we were able to get it to 126. Kind of sloppy, but we'll see what we can do next week. I then did some scale boomerangs in the key of B major, and I sped it up just because it was pretty long and gotta keep the video short. And then here is my full run of LaCour 18 number 23, done and dusted for this week. I'm pretty happy with how this went. I know I spent two weeks on it, but I felt like my tempo was pretty good, and I did end up making it to that 112 BPM. I then went on to do a full run of Joel Love's Liberation. This is quite long, so I hope you enjoy. Definitely nothing perfect, but glad I was able to at least get it all the way through and uh, recorded. Again, definitely not my best work, but it's an accomplishment to be able to play something all the way through, especially unaccompanied where you don't have a lot of time off from your face, and at the end I really start to have some breathing issues, so I hope you enjoy.
So that's week number nine done. It definitely was a bit of a slow week of practice. My family members were home a lot this week due to just different circumstances. Of course, that's just a, a little bit of an excuse for me not to practice and get the time in that I need. There's always things that I can do like silent practice, kind of like I did uh, yesterday on Saturday. Either way, we did complete a bunch of our goals for this week. Um, I did finish the first page of Bulkham. I need to put it all together, but at least we know the notes and rhythms. I ended up doing my full run of Joel Love's Liberation, which wasn't the greatest thing. There were some tempo problems and overall just like consistency issues, but I'm quite happy with how quickly I put that together. The double tonguing was sloppy at 126, so we'll probably keep it that next week. And then the etude, since we've been doing that last week and this week, it actually went pretty well. I felt really good about the run that I did right at the end, so all good things. I hope you guys enjoyed this week. I'll see you next week.